Hello everyone! Today we're gonna read this storybook called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Erica. Oh, what can you see on this cover? Oh, we can see a caterpillar, right? How does it look? Is he happy or sad? Mm, I think he's sad. Do you know why? Maybe he's very hungry, right? Mm, do you think? He can find some food? Yes? Maybe. Let's see what happened in the story. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you point to the egg? Here, right. Is it big or small? It is very small. And how many eggs are there? There is only one egg. Hmm. Hello, moon. <laughs> One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Oh, look at the caterpillar. It is very cute, isn't it? He started to look for some food. Mm, I want some food. Mm. <laughs> Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, Hmm, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, One slice of Swiss cheese. One slice of salami. One lollipop. Mm. A piece of cherry pie. Mm. One sausage. One cupcake. And one slice of Watermelon. Oh, he ate too much. That night, he had a stomachache. Oh, oh, that's too bad. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. Wow, do you think it is a good food or a bad food? I think it's a good food. Mm -hmm. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, it is really colorful and beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> so today, we're gonna make a butterfly with the recycling stuff. Are you ready? <laughs> you need toilet paper or colored paper, black pen, scissors, glue, and two googly eyes. First, you have to wrap this toilet paper roll with the colored paper. But this is bigger, so you have to cut the same height as the roll. And you have to 
use the glue here. Okay. And second, you have to make the butterfly's wing. Pour the paper in half and draw the wing like this and cut it out. Ta da! And you have to attach this ring to the back of the lure. On this step, you can decorate the wing with some stickers or crayon. And third, you have to glue two glue eyes. Okay. <laughs> and draw nose and mouth with the black pen. Like this. And there is one more step. It is the last one. We have to make the butterfly's antenna. Cut it out like this and lower. Lower. And you can make these. Hmm. <laughs> and glue here. And glue here. One more. Uh -uh. Wow, what do you think about my butterfly? Is it beautiful? <laughs> and look at this. This is my daughter's butterfly. It is very cute, isn't it? I hope you can enjoy this craft and the book. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.